How's everyone doing today? I thought I would just show you something you can do with uh, with trays of your microgreens if you ever you know let them overgrow like I did with this basil. This is a basil tray that I had that I had harvested about half the tray as micro basil and then you know these ones just popped up after and the rest of it I never did harvest any of it and I kind of thought I might use this tray in the garden which is what I'm going to show you today so I kind of kept under the lights and let it keep growing um, did definitely neglected it didn't water it as often as I should have and just kind of let it sit in the corner of a shelf under a light so what I'm gonna to do today though is I'm gonna break up this tray and I'm gonna plant it in the perimeter of my new garden that I just put in I showed you a video of me making this and so between probably all these flower plants on the ends I'll put you know it's a chunk of basil and see what I have left to do whatever I want with you can see I've got some tomatoes that I planted from seed that are looking really sad these overgrew their grow room and that I never did put them under under new lights like where they had room to grow and I kind of left them for dead and these two probably are maybe gonna die. I know they look really bad now, but believe it or not, I could still save these hydroponically. This one here is actually probably one of the better ones. This isn't too bad. So what I would do with these is if I put them in my hydroponic uh, Dutch buckets, I'd basically bury them like right up to here with vermiculite and tomatoes are really cool in that they'll they'll make all these little nodes on the stem and tomatoes will actually build new roots off their stem like anywhere that they're buried and you could actually bury these in soil and they'd be fine too I just don't really have a spot that I'm gonna do that and I do have my hydroponic greenhouse that I'm getting ready to show or getting ready to get going and I'll show you that after I get done with the, uh, the basil here. So let me just see what, what's going to be like to, to tear into this. I should be able to just kind of rip chunks. It's kind of hard with the camera in my hand. but So there's one chunk. Let me put that there. There's another one. Now, I don't really know a lot about this, but I hear that basil will keep certain insects away. Certain insects don't like basil. I don't know which insects those are, um, but I like basil, so I'll grow it. There's another one. You can see you get a ton of basil from one little tray. A good sized chunk. I actually have more than I even know what to do with. Running out of real estate here. Well, let me just get all these planted and I'll uh, restart the film. Basil is all planted. Just watering it in now. So I ended up going with it basically all the way around the entire garden. See my apple blossoms are looking nice. A deer ate half that tree on me over the winter. Um, yeah, so basil everywhere. And it just got rained on. And uh, we'll see. That's going to be way more basil than I'm ever going to need. But, uh, you know, if I end up with an abundance of it, I can bunch it up and bring it to my chefs when I deliver microgreens and offer it to them either for free or at, you know, really low cost. Just as a 
a little bonus. So let me show you what's going on with the, uh, the hydroponic greenhouse here. You can see that's the pile of dirt from where I dug out my garden. I still got to move that. But that's the greenhouse I use. It's a uh, Shelter Logic greenhouse. My third year, or my fourth year, actually. I think it might be my fourth year using that. It's been awesome. It's it's held up to uh, winters. This winter we had a ton of snow and it held up just fine. But let me show you what I got going on. For one, I left it a mess last year. You can still see the tomatoes. And I, I don't like its location. My driveway kind of goes right around here. I come up from here, drive around. And I come back out the other way. My parents live over there. And I just don't like it. It's in a bad, I don't know, feels like an awkward spot. So I'm thinking about moving it over here between the microgreens palace and my new garden. I'm just kind of putting it right between them. But I don't know. I got to measure that out. I want to make sure I have plenty of room between the two greenhouses and also the garden just to deal with, you know, grass and stuff. But I think it would be kind of nice because I wouldn't have to run an extension cord over the driveway or a hose over the driveway and it's more accessible because I've got power already out to the greenhouse here so thinking about doing that but let me show you what's going on in here so like I said winter came in a hurry last year and I didn't get around to cleaning up anything. I left everything just as it was, and it's a mess. And this year, so I keep moving around, there's a wasp in there. Um, this year, I wasn't gonna do hydroponics, or not much. And I think I'm still not gonna do much. I'm gonna do the um, those peppers that I have growing that are really looking sad. They really need to get out here. And I'll show you how I want to handle that. And then I've got, you know, those couple tomatoes. And maybe I'll do those. Maybe I'll add some stuff later. But that's kind of the, the plan. That's what I'm thinking about working on today. And we'll see what happens. I uh, probably won't put that in this video. Just because this video is already getting a little bit long. And my internet here is slow. So it takes me a long time to uh, upload. If it's much more than 10 minutes, it can take four hours to upload a video. So, let me get started on that. And if I do move it, I will uh, show you a little bit about the hydroponic setup after it's up and working. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice Memorial Day weekend. Make sure if you see a uh, service member, you thank them. Talk to you later.